How would you like to come home to a bartender who will fix you any cocktail you want? I'll have an old fashioned. I'll have a margarita. Now you can with the Bartesian Home Cocktail Maker. Bartesian is a sleek machine the size of a coffee maker that makes premium cocktails at the touch of a button. Choose from over 50 different cocktails, from classics to the most exotic premium cocktails served in the best bars today. You'll always get freshly mixed, perfectly balanced cocktails with the Bartesian Cocktail Maker. And now get Bartesian's best Black Friday deal ever at bartesian.com slash cocktail. Entertaining? The Bartesian is ideal for parties. No need to stock all kinds of individual mixers for complicated recipes. Every guest gets the cocktail of their choice in seconds. The Bartesian makes a wonderful gift for anyone who loves a fine premium cocktail. Now get Bartesian's best Black Friday deal ever. It's available right now. Only at Bartesian.com slash cocktail. That's B-A-R-T-E-S-I-A-N dot com slash cocktail for Bartesian's best deal ever. Only at Bartesian.com slash cocktail. And we're live. Welcome to Strike Up here, episode number 240. With your pals Alan and Rapid Dave. I'm Alan. I'm Rapid Dave. Dude, we got we got Harry Mr. The, the great Harry Grunderson in the house. Buckeye Bunny's in the house. Lizzie's in the house. El Poppy's in the house. Fancy Francis is in the house. Old school 2.0. I mean, everyone's here today. Are we having fun? No? Kind of. Why is it hot in here all of a sudden? Like I'm sweating. Uh, you, you've, you've, you've had some issues today. You got a case of the giggles earlier. <laughs> Dude, I did so bad. I was sitting there like, like it took a while, and then finally I just said, I'm just doing it, so we're just going to move forward. So that will be part of the Patreon clip, so, right? That will be a Patreon clip. Right. Will, will it not? So first off, I just want to say thanks so much to Harry Grunelson for the raid uh, coming in. Thank you oh, so much. Okay. Right when we started, that's he raided us immediately. So big shout-out to him. Uh, thank you so much, Harry. Thanks. Uh, big shout out to Old School Wizard as well for uh, sending people over here. <laughs> well, Poppy, I didn't have that effect on men. Sorry, Rapid Dave. <laughs> Jeez. But yeah, appreciate it. I love how Twitch has got it updated now where it shows who's a raider and who came over. And Fancy, like that. he is so hot right now. So damn hot right now. So hot. Damn. That Rapid Dave, he's so hot. Ooh, I'm sweating. <laughs> Sweat my ass Hey, hey if you guys haven't checked out Mr. Uh, Harry uh, Grunderson, Grunderson yet, do it now. Do it. You're doing yourself a disservice by not doing it. Do How does that sound? Uh, I think it's excellent. Enough. Streamer extraordinaire. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When I saw I saw his name pop up, it was right when I was waking up from my little siesta. Okay. And uh, I was like, oh shit, uh, you know, we got to get ready for the show. I got to start putting stuff together. And then all of a sudden, the door opened. It's you. I'm like, okay, Alan's here, so we got to start getting ready for beer reviews. We got to start knocking some beer reviews you out. You know, it, it does loosen things up quite a bit. So. Well, yeah, thank you so much again, Harry, for the uh, the raid. Appreciate it. Appreciate everybody who came over from the, uh, from that channel as well on Twitch. And then, like I said, thanks so much to Old School Wizard for obviously sharing with his people on YouTube. So yep. we're getting some love all around the block here. I love yeah, it. Pe- for some reason, people like us. Or they know of us, one of the two. They, they know, yeah. What are we drinking tonight? Uh, we are drinking – I want to make sure I get the, word, the verbiage right. Uh, Harry Taint. Beer tea. <laughs> So this is gluten free, vegan, wild tea, wild tea. Hey, Mark. And the first one we're gonna have. Let me hand this one to you. Mark, Mark, Mark. What's up, Mark? Uh, black cherry bourbon barrel, really brewed with tea. Uh, I'm not in, can I say not interested it, right now? The, the beer made without barley or malt. Okay. Made with fermented sugars and fruit juice. Uh, this one's 9% alcohol by volume. <laughs> it does say high ABV and like big, bold letters on the box. The box around uh, somewhere. Got a, it's got a nice box. If yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's got a big red and white yeah. logo that says high ABV. So it's got, a, got a nice box, got nice cans inside of it. Uh, uh, it's just doing great things. What's up, Patrick? How are we doing? Patrick, what's up y'all? We're doing good brother. Yeah, uh, you can be, a, be this, a beer now. Yeah. It's beer tea. It's beer, beer tea. tea. Yeah. Is that beer from a winery or something? It, it's, it's a brewery. Yeah. Wild uh, Ohio. Wild. Yeah. 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 It's gluten free and vegan for all you people who yeah. care about that kind of stuff. So there you go. Oh, it looks like wine. Oh boy, it's clear. Looks like a. I was gonna say claw, but it is, claws are clear. They're all clear. All right. So here we are drinking this. Go Coach stars. is in the house. What's up, Coach? Go stars. Cheers to you, I guess. Hey. <laughs> Don't spill that. <laughs> Ooh. 
That's interesting. Tastes like a cider, a wine or a cider. <laughs> Mark, interesting. Might be kosher for Passover. Uh, I don't know if it, it doesn't say kosher. It on does here. not say kosher. Yeah. Um, no. Man, it, it doesn't say anything. And it would have it on there. If they already put gluten-free or vegan on there, it probably would have Only put, five carbs. Yeah, I said, well, see. You're, you're a low-carb guy. Five, five yeah, carbs. Five. That's why I don't want to drink a lot of these damn things. Only, only four grams of sugar for something that says it's brewed with sugars and fruit juice. It's only got four grams of sugar. Mm-hmm. So it's not high on the sugar scale. Okay, you um, Russian chocolate starfish spies. What's the deal? Calm down. Dude, uh, Whiskey sent me. Did whiskey, does Whiskey te- text you? Sometimes, yeah, his it's pretty. Gra- it's usually graphic. Oh, always, always. And so he sent me a picture of his a, a large peen, uh, yeah. standalone peen. Sound, sounds about right. And it's with the the, you know, Bud Light logo on it, and it was like it, even a harder bottle to swallow or something like that. Like I was like, oh my god, lose his voice, he throat pokes again. It's, he, it's, lo- I told you, he lost it's his still I, from from Monday. It's it's coming back. Wait, you but, said this weekend. Now it's from Monday. Well, I mean, we what can't, we canceled the show on Monday yeah. because of it. You gonna you gonna talk, I, I lost you gonna talk the about voice. it? I lost the voice it's over the week. Monday, I woke up and I didn't I didn't really have a voice. What happened? No, well, you know, kids decided not to act right and did a little bit of yelling at the kiddos. So, you know? did you yell all day? No, it was just like with with one of them, they were having like a a, a pretty good, a pretty good meltdown. Yeah. And so and your was, choice was very loud. So your choice was to yell at the kids that are having I, a meltdown. I, I had to, I had to go louder so they could hear me. Why did you feel the need to be heard? Yeah, because they're obviously doing yeah. something. They felt the need to and be then, heard. And then, but you, you know dismissed what? their claims but, and cries. But then, for your own benefit. But, but then, when I got loud, mm-hmm. they stopped and they listened. Oh, so this tastes like I can't drink this. Yes, you can. I can't. Yes, you can. I cannot. You, you if I just I slam it, well, like, can can I get out of this? Uh, you got to the next one. Oh. What if I slam all four? Am I done? Sure. And I could drink what I want? Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Alan, I told you about those truck stop glory holes, man. Has anybody have you ever done it? Have you ever been uh, at an airport and just like decided to kind of put your foot underneath the stall? No. You know? That, that's like the go sign, apparently. You never heard of that? No. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, you know, if you're at a like stall, I don't know if the last time you were in an airport. Or when the last time you were in an airport bathroom, which I assume you, if you went to the Every airport. Every time I go to the airport, I go to the bathroom. Exactly. I assume you were in the bathroom. So Harry, Harry someone say truck stop glory holes. Exactly. So I heard, because if you ever go in one, all the doors, everything's already, it's like full, right? It, it could be like 35 people in the airport total. Every stall door is closed. Maybe one open door. But I also feel like, I don't know if I'm remembering this right or not, but they have long stall doors. Like, it's not like some of them go to the floor. Some in right, Dallas, right. they don't, or Dallas Love, and then I think DFW, they don't go to the floor. They don't. So you can see what's okay, going. You can okay. tell which feet are angling which direction. If okay. you got two sets I, of feet I, angling the same way, you know, or <laughs> one way and the other way, you know, if they're Harry just said, sign me up. <laughs> Truck stop. Oh, oh no, what happened? I don't know. Oh, we're making uh, glory hole jokes, and all of a sudden someone got dropped. Someone I mean, got he's like upset, he's physically upset. Oh, Francis, I know the places with the good doors. I bet I you. Bet, I bet I, there's nothing. I, I know, <laughs> doubt in my mind. That's like a negative eight hundred on that bet. <laughs> yeah, on that bet. <laughs> does Does Francis know where to go for okay. a good glory hole? Uh, I'm, negative eight hundred. Yes. <laughs> plus, I, plus hold, hold on. Here we go. Here's what happened. Oh, he wait, hold it. on. What, what? That's not the guy that got carted off. Did the other no. guy get punched? What? So he got so upset, he got removed from the what game? What happened? The pitcher... All right, so if you're listening to this on Apple, uh, Spotify, Our Heart Radio, Amazon, uh, we're watching the Sox-Rays game, and the pitcher came in on a Rays player. Hit him on the elbow, right? And the dude's pretty big. But Diaz didn't care. Diaz just kind of trots down to first but base. But I think no something happened to the pitcher. I think that might have been and the pitcher why it down. got away from him. Maybe. Anyway, so the pitcher went uh, down, squat position, and then... Uh, Mario he, 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 he from New York. Evening, gentlemen. What's up? What's up, Mario? We're having a tea beer. Yeah. So, yeah. No, that's... Yeah. Uh, so, you never heard about that kind of stuff? You no. listen to the ticket. You know, uh, Gordon has uh, talked I, about I do, it I do. I do. He talked... I, I mean, that's where I learned the term docking from. Yeah. Right? right? Uh, which, oh, God. When, when that came up, it, it came up at some point in time around the house, and I brought up docking. Uh-huh. And then Mrs. Lincoln, she's like, what's that? Oh, God. I go, well, Google it. And she goes, she's like, why the, do you know what that term is? I was like, the ticket, Gordon. Why, why, why do you need to know where I know it? Don't worry about that. 
Just wanted to make sure. Hold on, Glory Hole Bathroom Airport. I'm I'm Googling this because I'm going to put that in there. So uh, we have- head Hunt and Redeem, Rep Dave, you want to say something random? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how I was going to go Glory Hole at the airport. But that's not, but we're, that's already not talking right. about. we're already talking about that, so that doesn't count. R. Tad, what's up? If you're at the, if you're, if you're, if you're visiting a glory hole, are you the are you there to receive treatment or giving treatment? There you go. That's random. Well, that's a question. It's a question for you. Uh, receive. Okay. It's uh, first thing it pulls up when I typed in that. It goes, is the Minneapolis airport bathroom glory hole a real thing? They're all real things because they all there's there's like there's. A new story about this, yes. and I don't know what it is about traveling and got just dudes are in like the bathroom, just kind of whipping it out. But I'm like, I just kind of go in there and do my business and leave. But but here's the thing though, like if you go to, but it's a lot of Minneapolis. But, but, but okay, but yeah. if you go, oh, you can find it on TikTok. Oh, we'll check that out. Later. You can't shut it down. Um, I mean, you can't but, shut it down. But here's the thing. So uh-huh. if you go into the men's restroom to visit a glory hole, you know what's on the other side. Hmm. Something to put it in. Well, uh, yes, <laughs> but you know, I think what's that, on the other side. Yeah, well, that's know, the reason they say it's right? you know. So it's not like if you're visiting like a glory hole, like in Amsterdam or something, so, somewhere random, right? East like, Germany, where you know what? It might be a guy, it might be a girl. You don't know. You don't know. You assume you know what you go and you're like, you know what? It is a girl, but you don't know, right? Okay, so book Glory Hole Condominiums Unit C in Aspen, Colorado. What? The- <laughs> I love the internet. Just, just, just for the record, it's so great. I don't have Glory Holes on our our run sheet for tonight. Well, it's, I've it's, got it's an icebreaker. I, hold on, I've got hot dog fights, <laughs> which is close. But I don't have Glory Holes. Like if you stuck your wiener in a Glory Hole, would you be surprised if another wiener came through the hole? <laughs> <laughs> that yes. could be a hot dog fight, no, right? I would be. I would be surprised. <laughs> I would be quite surprised. I'd be shocked. <laughs> <laughs> if there's anything the internet's taught me, is it's not a wiener coming through that hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. P1 to B1. Yeah, I mean, I, d- I actually, I barely listen to the ticket now. Yeah. I just, I've just kind of moved on, and I listen to music yeah. and podcasts and things like that. Yeah. I have more. I listen more to the fan than anything now because they have the Rangers. They have the Ranger game on. So if I'm not at home, right. well, one, I can't watch it at home anyways unless it's on like Fox or ESPN. So then you, I have to you listen. Got, to you got to get like a VPN so you can say you're in like Switzerland. Well, it's, it, I was going to get Express VPN because I've heard like uh, things about it. And I had one back in the day, back when the uh, the the Fire Stick was unlocked. You know, back when you could jailbreak these things. I go, yeah, I'm out of Chicago. You know, whatnot. <laughs> back throwing two hot dogs. <laughs> Down a hallway. It's a pretty large hole. I don't have enough to fill the hole. So well, Whiskey used to be a big Norman fan back in the day. <sighs> He's the worst part of the ticket. Norm? Why do you say Norman? Why do you just say Norm? It's the Normandy invasion. Uh. How would you like to come home to a bartender who will fix you any cocktail you want? I'll have an old-fashioned. I'll have a margarita. Now you can with the Bartesian Home Cocktail Maker. Bartesian is a sleek machine the size of a coffee maker that makes premium cocktails at the touch of a button. Choose from over 50 different cocktails, from classics to the most exotic premium cocktails served in the best bars today. You'll always get freshly mixed, perfectly balanced cocktails with the Bartesian Cocktail Maker. And now get Bartesian's best Black Friday deal ever at bartesian.com slash cocktail. Entertaining? The Bartesian is ideal for parties. No need to stock all kinds of individual mixers for complicated recipes. Every guest gets the cocktail of their choice in seconds. The Bartesian makes a wonderful gift for anyone who loves a fine premium cocktail. Now get Bartesian's best Black Friday deal ever. It's available right now, only at bartesian.com slash cocktail. That's B-A-R-T-E-S-I-A-N dot com slash cocktail for Bartesian's best deal ever. Only at bartesian.com slash cocktail. Waiting to buy a home? The Churchill Mortgage Team says now is a great time to buy. Waiting could be a costly mistake because when rates drop, new home buyers will flood the market, driving up home prices. Go to churchillmortgage.com for your free analysis and see how home values can outpace rates to help you build wealth over time faster. This is a paid advertisement. NMLS ID 1591. NMLS Consumer Access.org. Equal housing lender. 1749 Mallory Lane, Suite 100, Brentwood, Tennessee 37027. Yeah, it's the invasion of Normandy. It's the dumbest day from twelve to three. One, it was like all right. So I, it's not that I don't like the ticket. I love the ticket. Or ten to 
And Dude. that was just kind of, I just, they bro- you know what they did? They broke up my favorite show. And when they broke up my favorite show, that's when I was done. But, but well, actually, Dan I, and Jake is still good. I don't like j- good. I like Bob and Dan. Bob and Dan were awesome. That was like, that, that got me through after lunch or lunchtime all the way through until I was like clocking out leaving. And I got the muses in the morning. So I got to hang out with them till 10. Yeah. So really the only dead spot I had was between 10 and 12, which I could fill with something else. Maybe I go down to the airport, see what's going on. <laughs> they didn't even check for tickets. What? I was at the airport. They didn't Want even check for tickets. Hole. Dude. So I was what there. What do you mean? That when I went through security, he goes, yeah, we don't need to see that. You just need your license. I go, holy hell, is it opening back up? I was like, is it is it opening back up? Where you can just go in the airport? It was up in Kentucky. Louisville. Whatever happened to Gordo? He's he's on in the morning with the musers. Yeah, he's still there. He's a huge part of it. He he actually does throughout the week. He streams on Twitch. Well, he streams on Twitch, mm-hmm. but like he has a segment once a week with uh, the Hang Zone. He has a segment on the Hard Line once a week, uh, the Rant Revival, where it's him, uh, Corby, and they brought uh, Davey on. You know what this tastes like? It tastes like wine. You just uh, pour it, your claw in there. Yeah, I'm gonna. I got to do something. Ju- it, it, oh, no, you already drank out of that. I, just, I can't I do. do that. Oh, I'm not sick. It's just... no. I'm. It's because it's you. I know I gotta drink after you. <laughs> I'm gonna drink it after you. Uh, hey, you have new reactions for me to use on the right bottom. They fly up. What the hell does that mean? Uh, I think it's a YouTube thing. I, oh. we, don't, we don't see that. We on... finally got a big deal. We're a big deal on YouTube. Yeah. And if we are a big deal on YouTube, it's a big shout out to Old School Wizard, man. Him and his people oh, coming yeah, over, yeah, liking yeah, them and sharing or liking the videos, sharing the videos, reacting to them. Um, our, sus- our our subscriber uh, count has flew, flown up. And then also the views on uh, each video. Redeem, take a drink. Oh, you got it, bud. Hold on. Redo that. You clink from the bottom. What the f- is going on? Less talking, more drinking. That's not bad. That's okay. I think I fixed it. I mean, we are a podcast, right? I think I, think I fixed it. I think you're supposed to talk in a podcast. Oh, hand me the controller. We'll put something on, on the left side. Oh, this care. one does says left. Yeah. I, I don't know why we don't have South, South Park or playing games. Yeah, no, we yeah, uh, playing. playing a game last night for NBA. The Hawks uh, took on Miami, Miami Heat, and they. They they, had, they were up by like twenty. They won, and then they went went in, and then oh my god, the most pathetic game you've ever seen in your life. The Lakers and the Timberwolves played. The Timberwolves were up by like fifteen, like multiple times. And that's like missing like two or three of their like best players and, and for like suspension or non travel with the team. And well, I would say two of their best. They missed their best defensive player, yeah. the guy who broke his hand, yeah, and then Rudy Gobert. But Redu- hey, did he hit one out? Or is that a ground wall double? Your oh, boy. was that was that my boy back oh, up no, again? That, no, no, that's not him. No, that's the other one. They look alike. White people, yeah. Cassis and uh, Verduga. Oh, that's Justin Turner. Yeah. Holy shit, that's Justin Turner. Yeah. That's what he looks like now. Yeah. Huh. They Just could be like, brothers. Yeah, NBA, NBA is, still a, NBA thing? is yeah. still a thing. And it's so dumb. It's terrible to watch. Like someone played a clip from like uh, it was LeBron James like driving. LeBron and the, James and the defender just backed up and got away from him. Well, LeBron like late, you know, did one of those moves. And then sunk it. They called a foul. And then he goes, yeah. I'm like, he didn't fucking foul you. You twat. Well, obviously he did. And, whoa, whoa, and I was like, whoa. oh, my God. It was so, dude. Your I go, you want to know why so people offensive. aren't watching NBA? It's because of shit like that. Like, it's no, so stupid. You, you know what? And, and I talked about this in, in our Discord today. Mm-hmm. And if you're not part of our Discord, join it. Have some fun with us. Uh, we're in there talking all the time, posting memes, gifts. I've been in there in months. Conversations. I have a time in my life like, not I, being I've in there. been having a time of my life being in yeah. there. I'm on Patreon but, showing but, my uh, taint. I was talking to... Oh, wait, that's OnlyFans. OnlyFans.com slash strikeout beer. Free content. I was talking to Hit today, <laughs> and uh, he was like, anyone excited about the NBA playoffs? Okay. No. Because you let 20 of 30 teams in. Yeah, you can get in with a losing Everybody record. gets in. Yeah. And despite the fact that everybody gets in... The Mavs didn't get in. Well, they with, tanked. According. With two top 10 yeah. players in the league. Yeah. Right? You can make the argument that Luka and Kyrie are two of the top 10 players. And the crazy thing is, is like when they traded for Kyrie. Stars! Yeah, there you go. Um, the, the Mavs were very much in the play. They were like a six seed, five, six seed. Yep. And then they had the losing record with Kyrie and Luca playing together. Yeah, it was terrible. Now, if just Kyrie was playing, they had a winning record. Mm-hmm. But and the crazy thing is, is like it wasn't was like Kyrie. He graded out his time with the Mavs 
he's a top five player in the league, like in, in all categories. I, I don't right? blame Kyrie for the, the 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 losing or to or the tanking it, or any of that kind of stuff. It, a lot of it, I think, falls on Luca. I, I really I, do. If you watch Luca, he's he doesn't care. He's kind of just loafing about. He's you know he he's. You know, a mental—he's a mental case, right? Like uh, it's like he's a—he's an infant. It's like you have to use kid gloves with him at all times. Uh, are the Mavs becoming the Cowboys 2.0? Mark Cuban equals Jerry Jones. Yes, I, I, agree. I would say no because they have a GM. I would say they, he's they, there as a puppet, wanna, though. I—I I don't think he is. Yeah. Um, nah, he, but is Cuban involved in a lot of stuff? Yes. I but, thought the same thing. But was he? I, I thought I the same thing. Part of it, I, I think a lot of it has to fall on Jason Kidd. Like as the coach, like did you see a lot of coaching mistakes? Like you, you know, you see with your Lions? well, well. Here's what here's what I have going on. You don't see a lot of coaching mistakes with my lines. Tons, the last couple tons. Of years. Your head Shut coach your sucks. He's oh terrible. Oh my god, he's terrible. Hopefully, he can figure out. Maybe he'll go to coaching one on one and he'll figure out how to manage the clock, not manage the cock, because I know you guys up there can do that. But get everything else in order. Maybe you know, clean up a little. Get bit. ready. We're gonna have a new podcast coming out. Oh, it's coming. Uh-huh. It's coming hard. Whether Rapid Dave joins me or not, but it's let's talk about the Lions. Yeah, we're gonna have with well, your pal it, Allen. It'll be yeah. It won't be on this channel. It'll it's, be it's on the audio own, only own type thing. Channel. Yep. Um, I'm looking forward but, to but it. I I'm looking forward to that. I'm gonna talk a bunch of Lions talk. Uh, really give me an, an an outlet to really talk about it a lot. Mm-hmm. You're always welcome to join me on it. I will do some episodes on my own. Uh, I got an episode that I'm actually gonna, probably going to record tomorrow. I think talking about the Jeff Okuda trade. When we talked uh, about it, it was like going to be at least a weekly show. So like you know, it's almost like a you know a Tuesday would be appropriate because you guys aren't going to play a lot of primetime games, right? Like on Sunday night and Monday. Oh, oh we're going to. So play, you guys are going to be. We're going we're gonna to be in a lot of primetime games. You think year. so? You yes, feel it? You yes, feel it? Yes. We we are. They just released the odds to win the NFC this yeah. next year. Did y'all go up a little bit? We're, we're top five. Weren't y'all, where were y'all at before? What's what's the rate or the because it was plus twenty five hundred? I I I, we're, we're, I just remember we were number five in, and the NFC in, in, though, right? right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To win the NFC, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. this is to win the NFC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. NFC sucks. So yeah. okay, whatever. I mean, the Cowboys probably had the same equal chance, if not better, no, right? No, I don't think they were. You don't think so? No. You're telling me the Cowboys had a worse chance of winning the NFC than the Lions? Have you looked at the Cowboys? Get out of here! I'm just Dude, get out of here. Every move they make, everybody loses their mind. Oh my God, the Cowboys are going. Yeah, because we'll we're, talk about that a little bit later. We're in Cowboy we'll, land. we'll talk about it a little bit later. But yeah, with NBA with but, Luca, I think Luca's a problem out there. I really I, do. I, he, he comes in heavy every year. He doesn't care about training. He just wants to have a couple drinks and, and party a little bit. There's that, but but then you also got to look at like. So you you get down to it, and a lot of the problems that the Mavs were having were late in games, and you're you're coming in late in games. Carl's in the house. What's up, Carl? What's up, bud? Damn it, uh, Carl. And you got Luca and Kyrie passing the ball back and forth. You take the shot. No, you take the shot. No. Yeah. But I think that has it's to too many fall. point guards on the but team. but I think that has to fall on kid because you have to have plays built. To, Built in, right? You had practice time. You got time to build plays. You have two. I'll say it with with, with with Luca. I'm not even talking all stars. I'm talking with Luca and Kyrie. You have two players that have a high basketball IQ. Know what to do with the ball. Know how to play the game. Know the X's and O's and things like that. You've got to build some plays around those guys, mm-hmm. and you have to have some stuff set up. And if you're getting down to the last minute and they're passing it back and forth, you take the shot. No, you take the shot. No, you take the shot. No, you take the shot. Very much, you know, middle school uh, girlfriend. No, you hang up first. No, you hang up first. No, you hang up first. That's what their offense, the last two minutes of their games reminded me of that. Their offense last two minutes. You take the shot. No, you take the shot. No, you take the shot. No, you take the shot. Um, As opposed to having set plays and things like that and and having the plays and having set plays falls on your coaching staff your coaching staff is the one who's supposed to develop those plays and get that stuff going and if you don't have things set in motion where you say hey run like like we used to do back in the day with with a gangster I'm back there catching, and I jump up, and I yell at you guys, Snickers, Snickers, Snickers. We're running the Snickers play, mm. which means your first and your third third baseman switch spots and your second base and your shortstop switch spots. 
If I call three musketeers, the infield switches with the outfield. We had plays drawn up. Planned. <laughs> Planned. The Mavs don't have a Snickers or a three musketeers play. They don't have any plays. They had, you guys just figure it out out there on the court. You can't have that. Yeah. If you're trying to if you're trying to do pick up basketball, These guys are pros, but they need to be. You, you, but coached. but if you're trying to do pick up basketball in the NBA, mm. it's not going to succeed. Yeah, yep. Allen would be a catcher. What? I, I was for a little while. I had fun back there. You know why I was a catcher? Because I was I wanted to have fun with it. And every batter who came up to bat, I called something out different for every batter. I called out. Uh, new cleats, uh, no batting gloves, uh, khaki shorts, cut off jean shorts, uh, all, all kinds. I, I played catcher to have fun. I mean, if you're playing catcher, I mean, that's got to be what you do, right? You just like to have fun. All right. Oh, I got to drink this. Are you uh, done yeah. already? All right. Uh, so let's do the next one. It tastes a lot like claw. Oh, because you poured claw on that one. Oh, I probably should have waited. Is this mango? Uh, Peach. Peach. Hey, hey, babe, uh, bring me a, a mango claw, will you? What do you guys think about p- the Pistons? Uh, they're not good, right? So, like, they're so not we're not great. good. Um, I, I was excited about the fact that we brought Dwayne Casey on to be coach. Fifteenth in the East. Um, and then Dwayne Casey has stepped down as coach. He's joining the front office, so we're going to have a new head coach. Um, we've. Worst team in the league. I thought we were worst team in the league this Only year. Only two franchises have gone from least worst to the playoffs. Um, uh, are y'all the worst? We were the worst in the league this last year. I'm pretty sure. Ooh. I thought we had the worst record in the league. Yikes! That's terrible. Um, it's not good, bud. Which means we'll probably get like the fifth pick. Yeah, you're the right? worst. Because it's a lottery, right? How would you like to come home to a bartender who will fix you any cocktail you want? I'll have an old fashioned. I'll have a margarita. Now you can with the Bartesian Home Cocktail Maker. Bartesian is a sleek machine the size of a coffee maker that makes premium cocktails at the touch of a button. Choose from over 50 different cocktails, from classics to the most exotic premium cocktails served in the best bars today. You'll always get freshly mixed, perfectly balanced cocktails with the Bartesian Cocktail Maker. And now get Bartesian's best Black Friday deal ever at bartesian.com slash cocktail. Entertaining? The Bartesian is ideal for parties. No need to stock all kinds of individual mixers for complicated recipes. Every guest gets the cocktail of their choice in seconds. The Bartesian makes a wonderful gift for anyone who loves a fine premium cocktail. Now get Bartesian's best Black Friday deal ever. It's available right now. Only at Bartesian.com slash cocktail. That's B-A-R-T-E-S-I-A-N dot com slash cocktail for Bartesian's best deal ever. Only at Bartesian.com slash cocktail. You probably know the feeling. Sweaty, fast breathing, quick heart rate. That's a cortisol spike. It feels awful, and its imbalance is the cause of your anxiety. Rebalance Health's three-part anxiety system helps address it at the root. Rebalance Health lozenges are natural and designed for optimal absorption, providing 24-hour relief. Live life fully without feeling like you're fighting for it. Get 50% off your first month with code CALM23 at rebalancehealth.com. We were the worst in the league. All right, so let me ask you a question. How many games are in the the NBA season? Uh, 82. Okay. So you obviously didn't win 500, right? No. Okay. Did you win... did you win forty? No, we Did won. You like, win thirty. We won fifteen, I think. Well, God damn it, you know. But yeah, seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So no, I knew. I, gonna, I knew. I was going to keep going down and be like, yeah, no, no, no. no, 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 no. I, no. I, I knew. But I, we I were like right. that you didn't even waste any time with it. You said, no, we won. You know, just to yeah. Get, no, I which knew. is awesome. You're doing great. I, I, here's the thing. Yeah. The pit, I, 76ers I, I, for life. I, I, Whiskey, do you know I, you're from Dallas? Does this guy even know he's from Texas? It's the same guy. He likes the Jets. He likes the Green Bay Packers. He's probably he, a LeBron fan. He, he don't even know about he, it. He was missing football so much, he went down to the airport to just to stare at the Jets. <laughs> well, you know why he was there. He popped in, put his foot on it. Glory hole. Yeah, he went a little glory hole hunting down in DF, the, the DFW. He's like Jerry Jones. I want me some glory hole. <laughs> The only NFL owner slash GM that has said that in a press conference. Legend. I want me some glory hole. I never liked Jerry more than that day. I was like, man, this guy's just a man of the people. <laughs> but, so so the talk about the pit, we've had a lot of high picks. Two years ago, we had number number one pick with Cade Cunningham. Had He's battled a lot of injuries and things like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, worst, worst 
record in the league this year. We'll see where we end up with our draft pick. Um, I mean, we'll, it's just we'll, bad. We'll, just we'll, terrible. We'll figure it out because the the Pistons are a team that that does that. Are right? they the worst team in the in the the Detroit Metroplex? Uh, or the Red Wings sucked that bad this year too. No, the Red Wings were almost a playoff team this year. I remember watching them. I went to a Stars uh, game and I was because I always seem to catch the Red Wings when I go yeah, to the Stars I mean, game. For some they, the Stars just beat them six and one the other day. They're in seventh Detroit. in the Atlantic. Uh, let's see here, which is second uh, from the bottom. Yeah, yeah. Um, thirty five and thirty. What thirty five and thirty six ain't bad. You're five hundred. <sighs> That's the Atlantic out of the Eastern it's, Conference. It, it's tough. Stars, right now, because but but also like everything that I hear, mm-hmm. like about the Wings, is they're building their team the right way right now. Oh yeah, like there's a lot it's of a other, process. You got to trust the process. There, there's a lot of GMs out there saying no, the Wings are doing it right. They're building it. Mm-hmm. Uh, a couple of years ago, we brought Eisman over as GM, which Steve I Eisman? yeah, I like which him. Eisman built those championship teams in Tampa. Oh really? He was a GM there in Tampa and built those championship teams. Um, Click on that and put it up there. Uh, what we got here? Read it. Uh, I miss football, yes, but I miss seeing the guys from Strikeout Beer more. You both have whiskey facial coming hard, so hard. I mean, we invite you over like every week and you tell us no. Oh, yeah. Maybe I'll ask him over for next week. Oh, wait. Yeah. Next week I got uh, something else, but then Henson, I think we're going to invite Henson, but I do have a uh, whiskey. has got to come and eat a chip. Yeah, yeah. And he's so, got to bring Nate because Nate has to eat two chips. He ain't seen that guy in a while. He ain't going to see him in a while either. So yeah, there you go. But um like to get you in, I think towards the end of April, if not first week of uh May. Cinco to Drinko will be first week of May. We can have some margaritas. We, you want to do margaritas? Or maybe we'll get some like adios pantalones with uh, tequila and so Or some... Lakewood has a margarita lager. There you go. We'll have, we'll mix it up a little bit. What uh, do we got? So we're drinking wild tea peach. Really brewed with tea. Uh this one is eight percent alcohol by volume. Alan coming down with a little cold. What baseball team has the best record and what team has the worst? I mean, can't look it up yet. We're, okay. We're watching so, the so, best. So, so real quick. Yeah. Uh, no, coming. I lost my voice yelling at my kids. Talked about that already. Uh, no, they're not. The The worst record or the best record in the league is Tampa Bay. Uh, 11 and 0. Undefeated. Or but, no, 12 and 0, right? Uh, this would be 12 and 0, I think. I thought yesterday. I thought they were 11 and 0 yesterday and they beat Boston yesterday. 11 and 12 and 0. Or 11 or 12 and Either 0. Either way, uh, yeah, right uh, now, that's all we're doing is betting on Tampa Bay every day. And just, they're 11 0 right now. Okay. They're, they're going for 12 well, and 0. You bet up. against Tampa. You bet against Tampa and you bet on Tampa. But Houston effed up our parlay. They did. What's wrong with them? Um, but, well, they were the first team to play, so. Idiots! I, I said the first team to play is going to F up this yeah. parlay. So, yeah, Allen, uh, instead of listening to his kids, he yelled at his kids. So, Dallas Stars and St. Louis uh, Blues are 2-2 right now. Uh, 1909 left in the second half. Or second yeah. period, sorry. Excuse me. Um, sorry, had to do this. Worst record in the league is, I don't I don't know who the worst record is. Tigers might be close to it, although we took two or three from uh, Houston. And then we got swept by Boston, so. We got swept by Boston, we got swept by Tampa. And then we took two or three against Houston. <sighs> Man, so I should have already, are... already had it because I, I've been doing this. Right, so Tigers are two and eight. Uh, athletics are two and nine. That's in the American League. And then we have four, nine, four, What's six. Detroit right? Detroit's two and nine. Or two and okay. eight. Okay. Two and eight. Uh, I got a free bet. Any suggestions? Yeah, Tampa Bay. Oh, Tampa. Tampa. Yeah. No, we betting on Tampa until they lose. I'm just going to keep betting Tampa every single day. But I have been doing the Yankees every single day as well. So I was like, I'm going to take the Yankees and the Astros every single day, but the Astros kind of falling off, so I wasn't going to get value out of that. But with the Yankees, I was like, oh, you know what? And they won in the top of the ninth, baby. They won it in the top of the ninth. I was so excited. But yeah. I, you know what I found? So I follow a couple people on Twitter. You know Twitter. what? This one's not bad. It's not bad this at all. This peach one is actually pretty damn good. Yeah. So I've been following people on Twitter. There's, there's Saber. One person, what's up, Saber? There's Code one Red. person I follow on Twitter. She's uh, Her name's LC, and but she's been doing player props lately. And I'm like, okay. And so it actually, because dude, she rolled like bankrolled me all the way through the the WM uh, J- just money line, yeah, money yeah. line, yep, yeah, 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 yeah. Just do that. What's up, Sam? If you bet money line on Tampa every game this season, you've won. Yeah, you're up uh, eight to four right now in the. Uh, now the Red Sox are making it difficult tonight, but uh, top of the seventh. Is that Kiki again? Yeah, it's Kiki. Yeah, he but doesn't it, look like a Kiki Hernandez. Uh, what does that mean? Oh! Dropped it, oh, ball on the ground, oh, folks. You got to learn to call the ball. And the oldest dude in baseball somehow 
comes around third. Forrest Gump rounds third. McGuire. Not Jesus. Mark McGuire. Not to be confused with Mark McGuire. Your boy's up. Uh, Our tag, up. Yeah, I'm a big Andre Drummond fan. Dude, I love Drummond back in the day when he was with Detroit. I love Drummond. I, I don't know where Drummond... Was Drummond. that like Silver Spoons? I love Silver Spoons. God, it was so awesome. One of my favorite shows. I mean, it just goes Miss, back Mr. right here. No, Mr. Drummond was uh, Different Strokes. Damn it, Different Strokes. God! Ah! <laughs> You did a great job. There. And I apologize to anybody that's watched our last video on YouTube and Facebook, or I think it's Facebook only. Is it YouTube and Facebook? Uh, yeah. Wherever you post. I, I didn't know. Cu- I didn't clip enough out of there. He's a bull now? Okay. And so it's completely obscene for like the first 60 seconds. And then, because, we, then we reel it back in. Uh, but here's, the, here's what you will learn watching that intro. Uncut intro. So bad. Well, one of us is a professional and the other one isn't. Well, I posted the other one. Did you watch Allen's an Asshole? Uh, oh, you didn't check out Patreon. Oh, you posted today? that today. Okay, yeah, oh, I haven't yeah. seen that one yet. Yeah, I'll check Good it out. Though. Jerk ass hey, Allen. If you want, if, if you want to see wheels off, strike out beer stuff. Like we do pre show beers, and uh, a lot of times uh, you got we got to cut the beginning out because uh, stuff happens. Right, yeah. Yeah. Or, well, we're or, prepping or, or it's just us just sitting here just just riffing right before we do it. Yeah. Uh, you always have that we, weird we like look to, on your face. I don't know what you got that MacArthur face from. Like you know, you're like this the whole time. Like, like there's movement in the room. You look like a caveman uh, before we get TJ going. Jay sending me dick pics. Oh god. Um, but <laughs> it's just like woo. I like that. Well, oh, he shows him off. Says, "Nah, you ain't got it, bro." But you know, it's like you know, we, we like to pretend like we're uh, May the fifth. I might, we, I might we, go, uh, TJ, if you want to go. I might go because I think. I'll check. I'll check, and I might, I might go with you. I might go. We like to pretend like we're Ron Burgundy. Yeah, a lot. So there's a lot of how now brown cow. Um, okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, the human torch was denied a bank loan. That today. looks difficult to, to swallow. To be honest, um, it's quite, quite girthy. I, I'll talk about that a little bit later because I have a funny observation for you. Yeah. Uh, you were in yeah. a bathroom at an airport nearly. Nope. Like... Nope. <laughs> nope. Two, uh, two, two today. All right. But I don't even know what we're talking. It's just it, funny things happen pre show. Yeah. I think it's great. Pre, and it's, it's something. There, that, there's going to be, I'm going to tell you right you now, don't, you don't really there's going to be something that you don't want to miss. Yeah. And you have to be part of the Patreon to catch it. Yeah. But you had a case of the giggles. Big time. We were trying to do a beer review. And for probably four minutes, you had you could not stop laughing. Yeah, I couldn't keep it. You would, okay, here we go. And then you would just, and and at one point you would start laughing and you looking at me, blaming me. I'm like, I'm not doing anything. You're like, no, man, f you. No, 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 no. I'm I'm, I'm not. I'm not doing anything. It was so bad. Join the Patreon and you could see it, and you could see I had nothing to do with it. Uh, Your boy went down on strikes. Yeah, uh, but yeah, you know, and and it's something that seriously, if you think about it, we don't put po- now those things they don't get posted anywhere else. And and I mentioned it today. I think I shared it on Facebook or on Twitter or something like that. I was like, hey, you know, check us out on Patreon for a little extra content, not just beer reviews, not just insight, not just fantasy football or anything like that, but, but outtakes and fun. Scenes, yeah, outtakes and fun. And it's like, or if you just want to buy us a beer, it's like two dollars or three dollars. Three, a three month bucks is the cheapest one to get to get in there. Three bucks a month, and uh, you know, it's it's cheaper than Twitch. It's it's cheaper than uh, you know subscribing on Facebook as well. So, but you and know, what if, if you're part of the Patreon, you can log into our Patreon right now and see what our big announcement's going to be. We haven't announced it yet. Yeah, it's coming up at the top of the hour. It, it, we're going to talk about it, and if you're part of the Patreon, you have first dibs on our big announcement. There you go. Perfect. You can go there, and you can always see the beers we're going to drink for the show before. Mm-hmm. Um. We're we're talking a lot of baseball on there. We're in fantasy uh, baseball. We're fantasy all of a baseball leagues. We're baseball guys. I actually I'm tried out. to record a baseball thing a couple days ago, but my voice was just it just Shot. wasn't there. Yeah, and like I I recorded it and then I listened to it and I was like, you can't. I didn't use a microphone. I just use my phone. Yeah. Most of the time when I record our Patreon videos, it's just my phone sitting there and I yeah. record it through there. Even though I have the wireless lapel mic, yeah, yeah, yeah. should have used it, but I didn't. Um, and you you could only hear about half of what all I was saying. Are you doing is picking up all the goddamn kids in the background screaming and yelling? No, 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 no. This was after, Girlfriend after yelling that. at you? No, no one, none no. of that. Dog barking just, like a motherfucker? Just, no, 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 none no. of that. Um, just my voice just wasn't there. It was the first day I lost my voice. It was Monday. Um, and it yeah. just, it was just gone. Nice. So, 
Uh, all right, so NBA is out of the way. No one cares. Don't care about this year. I'll probably watch a game or two. We'll see where it goes. Maybe the finals. Probably not going to watch a lot of NBA playoffs. What What's up next? Um, let's talk Maybe MLB. No. Okay. I want to talk because because we're going to hit up something top of the hour, and I want to try and do something that will take up time between now and the late top night, of the I'm hour. Talk about all kinds of crazy shit. Uh, yeah. well, I mean it's not crazy. But no, we're, late we're, night I'm going to talk about crazy shit. We're going to talk a lot of baseball stuff during late night. Yeah. Uh. NFL star score three. Two. There we go. Let's go. But I want to talk about this is a new segment that you want to uh, release. Okay, and it's called "Is Rapid Dave an Asshole?" No, no, no. It's not. Am I? It's 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 a general term. Uh, this is your segment, correct? And the segment is "Am I an Asshole?" Yeah. Well, so if I'm announcing the segment, yeah. How would you like to come home to a bartender who will fix you any cocktail you want? I'll have an old fashioned. I'll have a margarita. Now you can. With the Bartesian Home Cocktail Maker. Bartesian is a sleek machine the size of a coffee maker that makes premium cocktails at the touch of a button. Choose from over 50 different cocktails, from classics to the most exotic premium cocktails served in the best bars today. You'll always get freshly mixed, perfectly balanced cocktails with the Bartesian Cocktail Maker. And now get Bartesian's best Black Friday deal ever at bartesian.com slash cocktail. Entertaining? The Bartesian is ideal for parties. No need to stock all kinds of individual mixers for complicated recipes. Every guest gets the cocktail of their choice in seconds. The Bartesian makes a wonderful gift for anyone who loves a fine premium cocktail. Now get Bartesian's best Black Friday deal ever. It's available right now, only at bartesian.com slash cocktail. That's B-A-R-T-E-S-I-A-N dot com slash cocktail for Bartesian's best deal ever. Only at bartesian.com slash cocktail. So you found the perfect home, but high mortgage rates have you second guessing. The Churchill Mortgage Team says waiting to buy can be a costly mistake. Try their free 15 minute analysis to see the difference between buying now versus waiting for lower rates. Visit churchillmortgage.com to learn a smarter way to build wealth through home ownership. This is a paid advertisement. NMLS ID 1591, NMLS consumeraccess.org, equal housing lender, 1749 Mallory Lane, Suite 100, Brentwood, Tennessee, 37027. It is is rapid Dave an asshole, but it's not like that though. Let's not let's not but, say it like that. It's 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 like am I an a hole? It's because people on say on Reddit, right? Right. So you have people but, on you have people on Reddit that say am I the a hole? Okay, but let me let me let me. I got to come up with music for this too, and I'll read it as fast as I can. But when you sent it to me today, mm-hmm. you're like, hey, I, I I got a segment I want to launch today. It's am I am I the a hole? Uh huh. And it has to do with it, something it, I it, did. It, it has to do with me at, at, at a wedding I was at this weekend. I said, "Yeah, I worded it very you, weird." And I go, "Hold on, yeah, I go, I know, hold on." I know, I know. I go, "I know." Are you telling me something you did at a wedding this weekend? Is it now on Reddit? Would be the first and, time. And, and you said no. Yeah, no, I've been on Reddit before. Like <laughs> other people, like something happened, it popped up. But on Reddit. Uh, whiskey said, "Yes, I am the asshole. Get over it." It's, yeah. We're not talking about you. We know you are, but. So the new he's segment a big old is, lovable bear. I don't understand what he's. I don't understand what he, he wants. He wants. You know, there's people that want to be an a hole, and there's people that are a holes. And whiskey wants to be an a hole, but he's just a lovable guy. Okay, I'm telling you right now. Okay, uh, so here's the Tampa Bay is winning eight to seven now. Oh, Something the, the, just happened. They're coming back, man. Runs just scored. I think a, a dinger was hit by somebody. Um, oh, Devers. Oh, is that what that alert was for? Oh, score stars just score again. Call it 4-2, baby. Four Let's go. The two stars. Let's go, stars. Stars got to win out to try and get that number one seed. But they all seen Colorado to lose. All right, you ready? Uh, yeah, so uh, here's the new segment, Am I the Asshole? By Rapid Dave. All right. So it says, Am I the A-hole? For, this is from Reddit. This is a, I'm not going to uh, list who it is or whatever. Uh, for having a dry wedding and serving only water for drinks. That's the title. First off, I can tell you, yes, you are the A-hole. But let's let's dive in just a hair, Okay. Throw away only cause. I don't want this on my main. Okay, so basically my husband and I are getting married later later this year. Each of our sides are a family of a fairly bi- are fairly big. It will be around 100 to 150 people total. My husband and I are paying the bill for all this uh, all ourselves. So what? You're you're a goddamn adult. Okay. Pay for your wedding. No one cares. Um as well as my grandma who said she doesn't care 
one way or another on this issue, she just loves weddings. So apparently they're getting some uh, some funding from the, grandma, right? The last wedding I went to, I, I went to one wedding you with my finish grandma. This? Oh, it's just, you're talking you, grandma, okay. I'll okay. let you. You can start with that, okay? Yeah. You can you can leave with that. Uh, <clears throat> we have a lot, oh God, we have a lot of kids in our family, so we decided against making it child-free, but we did decide on making it dry. So there are there will be no alcohol of any kind at our wedding. Honestly, this doesn't have anything to do with there being kids there, but due to the fact that they're, my fiancé and I don't drink. Nothing against people who do. It's just not for us, and we don't want it. On top of that, we only really drink water. We rarely, if ever, drink soda. Who calls it soda? So most, that, oh, most of the time. We don't even we don't even drink coffee. So obviously the food, which is a part of my grandma is not paying for, is going to be expensive for many people. We have our waiting catered, blah, blah, blah. I'm not even reading the rest of this stupid shit. Well, when my family and friends found out about the wedding being dry, they got angry. Some didn't really care to be, <laughs> some are really upset about it, saying that they just have, <laughs> have an open bar so I don't have to pay for drinks. We could, but still have to pay for the bartender and really don't care you know, want to bother anyone anyways. Or should we have at least soda? Because how can, you know, so the the the, the tiff here is they did dry. They didn't do even Cokes. But they just did water. And they and just the did that's water. The so like if, so, if you're going to have a reception. So am I the asshole? Yes. I didn't think this wouldn't be a problem. It's only water. I mean, most people drink yes. water every day anyway. Should we pay the extra to have soda to make the family happy? Yes. Not only should you pay for the, the Cokes, pay for the booze. It, it, it's it, insanity. It, it, okay, so so you and your husband don't drink. I get that, okay? Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. So, so you don't want to have alcohol there? That's fine. Yeah. Have sodas there. Have have other drinks You ever there. been to a wedding that didn't have any alcohol? Because uh, they weren't there to party, right? They weren't there to hit the electric slide. Let me tell you something about the electric slide, no, electric slide no, later. I have never been to an alcohol, uh, alcohol, a party that or a, a wedding uh-huh. that hasn't had alcohol. Like it's um, insane, right? A hundred percent. But I've never been to a wedding where the bride and groom didn't drink. So let me say that. Okay. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I went to I went to one wedding with my grandma. Mm-hmm. It was the only time I ever drank with my grandma. Okay. Was and she my, fun? My, my grandma got trashed. I was about to say. Yeah, yeah. Off of screwdrivers. Oh, God. Orange like, juice and vodka. Yeah. It uh, was evening wedding or morning? Yeah. Like 9 a.m.? Afternoon to evening. Like you're having Bloody Marys and no, shit? Just, no, that's just what she wanted to drink. <laughs> and like, my, I never, I grew up in a family where they, they didn't drink. Like, mm-hmm. They didn't drink with the kids around. Like you had, so it was a little different. Okay, it, it was well, things were different back then, right? Yeah. When when we well, were certain kids. families, they, that's what they do, right? They don't. But like with like, when I like, when I married into this family, there's beer around, okay. right? But, you know but, what I mean? But you married in. You were. I'm talking about when you were a kid. Well, even when I was no, I take that back. Yeah, when I was a kid, now the adults were drinking. They all but, had beers. Okay, but for me, they weren't. We were in Kentucky, man. And uh, oh, okay. Well, when my mom married my stepdad, uh, was he not a drinker? I guess. Or well, at least a casual, like where you have beer. When I say drinker, I don't, I don't refer to like an alcoholic or something like that. I mean a person that has a drink at I, a party as like a little loose I, enough. I don't remember there I'm ever shit face and like getting a fight with a clown. Alcohol in the house growing up. Okay. Uh, well, you weren't. Were you even in the house growing up? Like, yeah, yeah. You around your mom or anything like that? No. You know, some, Was it up until she it. she disappeared? Uh, on you? When, when? Well, she never really disappeared. It's just so she wasn't there. I'm so confused by your story because I've heard a billion backstories, but now I'm starting like, okay, so I'm trying to find out which, which it was. When I was really, really young, I spent a lot more time with my aunts than right. I did with my mom. Right, right, right. Uh, I spent a lot more time with my grandma. So your aunt uh, didn't drink? Because your grandma it, obviously it, it, did. I, I never remember being part of anything in the house. Now, my I had one aunt that I was with for a while, mm-hmm. and my uncle owned a bar oh no shit he had okay. a bar and we used to go to the bar i just want to like, i just want to own a bar before i die like we used to go to the bar i would go there with my cousins and things like that and i just remember us getting we'd go to the bar and he'd hand us like 10 rolls of quarters oh nice and we would just sit there and play video games right yeah. right yeah. pinball ninja turtles what, yeah, what yeah. galaga pac-man what, whatever whatever the video games were, were they had there mm-hmm. but like my my uncle was like Anytime we went to that aunt's house for Christmas or Thanksgiving, mm-hmm. uh, 
Michael Michael Jack uh, be passed out on the couch at, at, at a certain point in time because he just drank, drank, drank. He's just drank, drinking. Drank, okay, right? okay, okay, okay. Um, but I don't ever remember the aunts and uncles drinking while the kids were. Now, they were also like, hey, it was like 8 o'clock. Kids are, go away. Right, right. It's adult he, time. He, he went to, the kids went to the rooms. Yeah. And the kids. We talked the, about the, this for the adult, holidays and stuff like that, The too. adults yeah. stayed up and did what, and they were drinking. Right, right, right. right. Um, so it was definitely a different situation. Um, so let me ask you a question. Um, not only not only have you been, like, uh, say a wedding, like a completely dry wedding. I've never been to a dry wedding. A completely dry one, right? They, they'd have coats or even like, refreshments and things when, like that. When my mom got married to my stepdad. Uh-huh. They they got a it was a whole Catholic wedding so it was like an hour and a half wedding Catholic string type thing yeah. they just they got awful. wine and shit everywhere but then like after we went to the house we went to our house yeah yeah, yeah. and they had the reception there and they had a a bat the, the bathtub was filled with drinks right 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 and they throw it, ice in there they they pack all the right. drinks and beer wine and, and, and it was that. cokes Booms. sodas and things like that oh cokes and, and, and stuff and, like that and, and there was beer in there yeah but. That's really like one of the only times, like as a kid. Well, let's talk. Let's talk modern time, right? So that's as a kid. I'm talking now, like forty years later. Here you are, and what was the last wedding you went to? You been to a wedding in the last ten years? Yes. Okay. It wasn't a dry wedding. I, I've I've never been to a dry wedding as an adult. Let me let me. So I I once went to a wedding with with one of my. Friends, uh huh. Pick one. And, Let's go. But it just you you grab. I grabbed the last two. Tell me about this. And uh, we're gonna drink uh, wild tea mango. And this one seven point eight percent alcohol by volume. All right. But no. Tell me about that, that uh, wedding with your friends. This one, we went to, and we're there. It was out in the country on like a Friday. Okay. So it's one of those weddings where, like, you got to leave work early on a Friday to get to. Right? <laughs> okay, I got you. And, and so we get out there, and we're there, and they had a margarita machine. Oh, yeah. And They're there for fun. They, they had kegs there and stuff. They're there to have fun. And, like, the, the dance floor opens. Everybody's having a good time. It's, it goes late into the eve. It did. It, it was, yes, it was yeah. definitely one of those. And yeah. it was, so we get there, and they got the margarita sh- machines, and we're like, okay, we get there. And they're like, oh, well, the wedding's going to start in, like, 20 minutes. Okay. Right, yeah. Can we get a drink? No. Okay. Whoa, couldn't drink before? And then oh, damn. 20 minutes went by. Hey, what's the one you going to start? It's going to start in 20 minutes. We said that 20 minutes ago. Oh, man, give me a drink. Can, can I get a Can I get a margarita? No, no. Okay. Why does it keep getting delayed? Uh, 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 I, I don't know what happened. But then. How, how long did you go without a drink? I went 20 minutes without a drink. Okay. Wait, you already waited 20 minutes. So then what did you do to get the drink after the 20 and minutes? And then so went back. like, hey, can we get a margarita or something? Nope. Okay. Is that the keg right there? Yep. Can I get a drink? No, it's not tapped yet. Okay. And the tap's sitting on top of it. Laid on the side. So we walk over, we throw it on there, we tap the keg, yeah. and we start drinking. Oh, there you go. So, like, yeah. we asked, her, like, no, no, we can't give you a drink yet. You know, this is all for after. But that's the, it's the staff there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, They're they, hired, they, you right. know, whatever. I understand. And, I understand. Uh, I'm not trying to attack staff or anything like that. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. 20 minutes go by? Nope. Oh, Elon Musk. Nice musk. And 20 Smell. minutes into it, they were telling me it's going to be another 20 minutes. Uh, nah, I'm not waiting. I'm not waiting. So me and our friends, we, we go and we tap the keg and we yeah. start drinking. Nice. Nice. Real nice. And we started drinking. And right. then the wedding started. I think it was probably about like another 30 minutes. It was probably romantic because you have a couple drinks. You're just sitting there with like your hand over your heart. It's like, ah. It was. You know what? The wedding lasted 12 minutes. Yeah, they, they don't last long. No one, it doesn't matter. It, it wasn't a religious wedding or anything like that. It was just the, yeah. You had the, now you go to a Catholic wedding down. or something like that. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. It's a but three you know hour what? job. But, but the party after the Catholic wedding is going to be off the hook. It's going to be great. It's, it's going to be, be great. great. It's going to be great. And the great thing about like a Catholic wedding, like if you go to one on a Saturday, uh, guess what? You sat through Mass already. You don't have to go to church on Sunday. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So, but yeah, no, it was it was one of those where it happens and, you know, we start drinking drinks and then they're like, oh, the wedding's going to start. You're like, okay. How would you like to come home to a bartender who will fix you any cocktail you want? I'll have an old fashioned. I'll have a margarita. Now you can. 
with the Bartesian Home Cocktail Maker. Bartesian is a sleek machine the size of a coffee maker that makes premium cocktails at the touch of a button. Choose from over 50 different cocktails, from classics to the most exotic premium cocktails served in the best bars today. You'll always get freshly mixed, perfectly balanced cocktails with the Bartesian Cocktail Maker. And now, get Bartesian's best Black Friday deal ever at bartesian.com slash cocktail. Entertaining? The Bartesian is ideal for parties. No need to stock all kinds of individual mixers for complicated recipes. Every guest gets the cocktail of their choice in seconds. The Bartesian makes a wonderful gift for anyone who loves a fine premium cocktail. Now get Bartesian's best Black Friday deal ever. It's available right now. Only at Bartesian.com slash cocktail. That's B-A-R-T-E-S-I-A-N dot com slash cocktail for Bartesian's best deal ever. Only at Bartesian.com slash cocktail. Need extra money for college? ISL Education Lending Scholarship Program provides $1,000 for college expenses. Registration is easy and no essay is required. Visit www.iowastudentloan.org slash register to learn more. The scholarship is open to Iowa residents who are in high school and college students, as well as parents of those students. Register by November 30th for your chance at one of the 45 awards at www.iowastudentloan.org slash register. Hold on. Let me fill up my glass. Went, I was front row Joe. At the front wedding. row Joe sitting there? Front row Joe. But oh, I had God. my beer. Yeah? Oh, my God. So that, like, so everybody knows us for, like, beer drinkers and stuff like that out there. And they're like, you know, who's coming to the wedding? And they're like, oh, well, Brandon's supposed to be here. You know, whatever. He goes, Brandon's going to be here. And they're like, yeah, Brandon and Lizzie. And they're like, shit, y'all got enough beer here? <laughs> and so that was – so I went to my brother's wedding. My, my second to the youngest, right? Sam is 18 years younger than I am. And so we go to this wedding – Real quick, oh, Billy what? Joe just said uh, a cow with no legs is another way of saying ground beef. <laughs> and this week's dad joke is brought to you by JB Carts. Yep. Check them out on Facebook and Instagram and at jbcarts.com. So I go to this, I go to the wedding, you know, I get there, I go, hey, look, it says it starts at 530. I'm getting there at like 525. That's what I'm doing. So I get there, I say hi to everybody. Everybody's like, hey, how you doing? It's like, hey, what's up? How you doing? And I was, I was glad to see uh, a lot of a lot of people there. I was just so, uh, super happy to see. But then I was like, I noticed a couple things once we got inside. Wedding was beautiful, a little windy, a little chilly, you know. But I had my, I just had a suit. Um, I had it, had it taken in, taken up, you know, everything, you know, tailored to me, right? And so I'm sitting there after it's over, like, Brent, Brent, you need a beer? I'm, I'm okay. I'm all right right now. Just it's early in the evening. Early, it's early, you know. Let's, let's calm down now, so, you know. But I get in there. And they're like, I go, hey, uh, can I get a beer? He goes, yeah, 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 here you go. It's Bud Light. I go, yeah, I don't drink Bud Light. And they're like, you don't drink Bud Light? I go, no. And it's not for what you think it is. It's because it blows you up. It's because they changed the effing recipe four and a half it's, years ago. Like and I can't drink. Or something that like was that. my go-to yeah, 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 beer yeah, 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 for 20 years. <laughs> and so I'm sitting there and I'm like, you know, my younger brother sees it. And he goes, and he saw I walk around the course like can or whatever. He goes, Brandon, you need a. You're a Miller guy, ain't you? I go, yeah. He goes, you want me to go to the store real quick? I reach, you know, my, my younger brother, younger, younger, he's 21 years younger than I am. He's just about to graduate from UK, you know, and so him and his girlfriend okay. decided, like, oh, we'll go get you an 18 pack. Because the beer out there is cheap, right? It's like $12 for an 18 pack, you know what I mean? Or, nice. or 15 bucks for a 30 pack. And so he goes, we'll just go down to the store real quick, real quick, man. I'll be right back. I was like, all right, man, I'll see you when you get back. He comes back with a, the thing, he goes, here you go, brother, you know, whatever. And so we start giggling. Well, the person comes around, like you said, you know, they have bartenders and stuff like that. They go, well, I can't, you can't have that on you, but I'll keep it cold and I'll hand them to you. I go, that's fine. I'm that's in cool. on that. Oh, you're going to keep it cold? Yeah. Sign me up. And so, but as but, you're, I'm at this wedding and it's separated, like but, by the, the dance floor. But, but you talked about how, so was this a non-alcoholic wedding? It, half of it was because that's what I was talking about. So. It's split down the middle. You have the main stage. It was outdoor, outdoor wedding, right? But you come inside the barn, you know, out in the middle of nowhere in, in Harrodburg, Kentucky, Harrodville, Har- Harrods, Harrodsburg, Harrodsburg. You come in and split like this, right? So you have their family and you have our family. And it's divided with by the dance floor. Well, guess what side the bar was on? There, our there. side. Bunch of heathens out here we are. So have you heard about the new mind-controlled air freshener? Makes sense when you think about it. <laughs> Billy Joe's hoping and praying that the announcement tonight was about the damn. I, I got it sitting right there, and I think I might bring it back because he's he's in here. Snowman's in the house, my beer bros. Snowman. How are you? We're doing great, brother. What's up, buddy? We're having hope some tea you, beer. Hope you're doing good. Um, 
we're going to talk the big announcement here here shortly. Coming up uh, here in a couple seconds. Yeah, we're just finishing up uh, this. Uh, am I an ass? Well, you know, uh, if you're if you're doing a um, a water only wedding, you are an asshole. It's just part yeah, of it. Just have other drinks there, yeah. right? So, so you you guys don't drink. That's fine. Yeah, have other drinks there. They look but, down. They look but, down on us all night, dude. But but like here's just, here's the other thing. Havens. Like if you're not big drinkers or anything like that, have. Just go get a keg. Let me ask you a question. Real quick. Just real quick. Yeah. What's more damning, a drinker or an eater? Because I'm going to tell you this. So it's it's separated, right? But you have your drinkers, and the people across the aisle were eaters. I was looking for, I was looking for, my, dude, I was looking for my Uncle Mark, because my Uncle Mark wasn't there, but my Uncle Brad was there. And the, the guy is like a poet. But, so, but, so, so but the other side are like, they're like four bills. Every I, one of them, four bills. I, I've been to... A lot of events. <laughs> Is that not a brag? I mean, someone clipped that. I've been to a lot of events. But uh, yeah, no shit. Everybody, everybody hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, Alan, let me explain. Alan, Alan just giving it up. L- let me Big explain. Big announcement coming up in two minutes. I've been to weddings, engagement parties. Okay. Birthdays, uh, <laughs> anniversary parties, okay. housewarming parties, uh, kids' birthdays. Yeah, we got it, man. You've been right, to right, you've right. been to like obligations. Um, the the events that I've been to with the people that cause the most problems are the uh, eaters. So I've I've been to uh, birthday parties, and you have the table that has the food, right? So so you have whether it's a it's a buffet style or something like that, but it's like maybe not necessarily. It's buffet style, but not necessarily like where you have um, kids birthday and the parents are the, the, the dad's cooking the food. Right. And you cook all the food and you throw it on the table. Um, the ones that I the, the, the biggest issue has been you got the you got the food. And you got the table where you put all the food. And people sit at the food table. Yeah, I was talking about drinkers versus eaters. That's what I'm saying. Uh, you're just drinkers. talking about idiots. That's no, what no, you're talking no, about. No. You're talking about morons. Nah, I'm talking about eaters, and the people show up to the food table like that's their table. I asked which was like the bigger degen, like overeaters, like where you're 300, uh, 400 pounds. Uh, I, uh, no. That's what I asked. No. I asked, is there a problem with hey, eaters you, or no, no. booze? You don't have to be three, 400 pounds. You just, you're just a douchebag who's showing up to eat food, and you sit at the, the food table. Yeah. Where where the food is sat there. My next question for, for every hold since on, that's me, what let, you want to do. Let me finish. Let that's me finish. fine. Go let ahead. Me finish. Go ahead. And cough you the show, rest of it you, out. You 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 have the table where you put all the food. Mm-hmm. You have the 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 main course, the appetizers, all that, and this is where you go to grab the food. So you should go grab the food and go sit down in another table. Mm-hmm. These people sat down at the food table. Okay, like that's their table. So and, and I was doing it more as, a, food. more as an addiction. That's what I was asking you for. Uh, like, so you have people that clear out the appetizer hey, hey. table. Nope. Not, no, no, no. Uh, you're not listening. You're not. You're not listening. I'm asking you: Are eaters worse than drinkers? Drinkers are going to get drunk. They're going to have a little too much fun. Maybe they'll have a good time. You know, whatever. Right. But eaters go there and like wipe out like the whole appetizing area. And then they go and wipe out half the damn dessert, you know, it's, all that kind of shit. I'm not talking the, about idiots that are in like East uh, Texas. Uh, they're that sit at, out a goddamn they're food sitting table. At the raw, they're just sitting at the food table. You still you don't get what? it. You know, no, you no, 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 it, no, no. Hey, hey. No, Have I'm talking you, about big fat listen, ass eaters. Listen, I'm talking about big fat. Okay, ass eaters. I'm talking about raging alcoholics and drunks. Hold on, raging alcoholics. Okay, food eaters, assholes, all that. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. And they go sit at the food table, right? Raging alcoholics and drunks are not going to go sit at the bar that isn't a bar to sit at, right? Okay. There's yeah. not a seat there. Yeah. They go there, they grab their drink, and they walk away. Okay. They're not sitting there and drinking and not going away. hmm And drink, 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 drink. Okay. You don't have that. But the people that show up to the food... And just sit where the food's served, where that's just where you go to pick up the food. It's like going to a Luby's 
And you're like, oh, yeah, let me get this, this, and this. And they hand it to you. And you just sit where they hand it to you and you keep eating. When, were you la- when was the last time you were at a Luby's or a cafeteria? I don't even know, man. A cafeteria when I went to go visit my kid for lunch. I think it was like 1993 or 92. Uh, it was after church or something Last like year I went to my kid's school. I'm talking lunch. about like outside. Well, you're talking about cafeteria. Well, that's cafeteria doesn't include like your kid's cafeteria. I'm talking well, about cafeteria. like. I'm talking about like, you know, Luby's or something. I, gosh, 20 years. That's what I'm saying. Been forever. All right. Special announcement. I, I was going to load some uh, some sound alerts for this, but we have a special announcement here on the Strikeout Beer channel. <laughs> so, we've talked about it. Oh, yes. And we said we're going to do it. Oh, yes. But it is officially official. Oh, yes. It's a real thing now. It's been created. Mm-hmm. The link's out there. If you're mm-hmm. part of the Patreon, you can go and click on the link and join. But we are doing officially official the Strikeout Beer WNBA Fantasy Basketball League is officially created. There you go. The people wanted that's, it. That's they right. asked for it. It's a real thing. Yeah. And we are going to have the draft here in two to three weeks. Yep. We'll get an official date. <coughs> official date here soon. Yeah. Uh, and it will be out two to three weeks before the league starts. Yep. The league starts in May. Uh, but I'd love to see full. Uh, no, Sham- the board's coming back, Billy Joe. The board's coming back. Don't worry about it. I'd like to see full participation. How many How many spots do we have open in this league? Uh, it's a 10 person league. Okay. Um, me, you, and. Uh, Henson's going to join. He hasn't I'll, joined yet. I'll say this. I'll say this. So we have seven other spots. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a hundo in this. I'm gonna throw a hundo at it. Um, hundred to, to the winner. Do we should we do winner take all or should yes. we pay out? I say a hundred to the winner. Hundred to the winner. Hundred to the winner. Hundred to the winner. So we're gonna do a hundred to the winner. Uh, winner take all. We're gonna. I'm assuming there's playoffs and you know whatever because like fantasy football, it's, right? It, stuff it's like, like that. a weekly thing where you play a team on a weekly basis type okay. thing. Right. Um, but we're doing on ESPN Fantasy. Yep. Um, if you want to join right now, you can. You got to be part of the Patreon to join right now. So if you're part of the Patreon, log into Patreon before the show started tonight. I posted the link. Tomorrow, sometime tomorrow, we will post everywhere else the link to join after we've given the people on the Patreon a chance to join us. Yep. But we're going to do a WNBA Fantasy League, and we will do the draft live on an After Dark show here in the next couple weeks. Cool. I'm in on that. Can I draft the Chiefs? Uh, No. The chicks, you can, not the chiefs, I think. But I it is. Yeah. it's it's going to be a 10-person league. We want participation. Uh, Let me tell you this. If, if I, you know, if you get in there, listen, I know I know what's going on. I, you know, I know what's, you know, we're trying to make this fun. We're trying to have a good time. We're in baseball, fantasy baseball leagues right now. 100 bucks time. to the winner. And, uh, yeah, 100 bucks, $100 cold cash in your hand or Venmo or Cash App, uh, you know, whatever. But a hundo in your hand to the winner. And, so. and I talked about it last week on the show, but we are going to go to a Dallas Wings game this year. I was going to go. Gonna go so if you're in the DFW area, mm-hmm. we'll throw it out there. We'll post it. Let's meet up. Pre-game, go to the game, post-game. Right. It's a day. We'll make Me, a day out of it. Rapid Dave. Can you make a day out of it? Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Let's do it. I mean, you're the one with the restrictions. I don't know. Dude, we're going to a WNBA game. All right. we're gonna, we're the whole day, a full day, yeah, full day yeah, yeah, action? Because yeah, yeah. that's where so you get all, that's where you get crazy because but you go out to that damn. Uh, come on out with us. Old school has a question. See with us. Oh, uh, uh, how long is the WNBA season? I don't know. Science? Hot dog. Uh, you have 36 games. 36 games. Yeah. It's 12 teams. Come on. You're, you're good. Yeah. But in old school, you're actually in the uh, you're in the the Patreon. I you think can you go and, and join the, the league right now. Yeah, old school. It's it, if you want to join, join it right now while you're one of five people that have access to it. Mm-hmm. 
you, the missus, and like three other people. All right, so you have a so the WNBA released its schedule, uh, game schedule for 2023 today. Or uh, okay. excuse me, uh, what the hell? It's it's worded weird. The WNBA today released its game Billy schedule Joe for with 2023. The for Lizzie. Thank you, Billy Joe. Hashtag for Lizzie. For the 2023 schedule, uh, which will begin on May 19th and feature a record high 40 games per team, all 12 teams will be in action during the opener opening weekend of the league's 27th regular season as part of the WNBA tip-off 2023 presented by CarMax. The regular season will be concluded on September or Sunday, September 10th, followed by the WNBA playoffs presented by Google. There you go. There we go. Dude, they, it concludes before football season. I, Sign me up. I'm in. So I'm in. You may or may not get a audio only podcast for WMBA this year. How's that sound? I mean, we're going to probably include it in the weekly show. Just talk about it yeah, real quick. Yeah, but I think there might be something that comes out on a weekly basis outside of the regular show. Yeah. But if you're if you're local and you want to go to a WMBA game with us, me and Rap and Dave are going to go. Um, I am doing. I'm going to do everything I can to get Henson to go. I'm going to buy Henson's ticket to go. I mean, that's four bucks you're out, but you know, you'd be. But all right. I, I will pay for his ticket to go to us. Yeah, go with us. Uh, we're going to a WNBA game this year. Cool. Uh, out here in Dallas, or out here in. Uh, we got to go to Arlington. Arlington, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. UTA, maybe we, maybe UT we can Arlington. That probably work because it's in the middle for you guys. Be able to. So, see it. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have a great time. Join the league, guys. If you're if you're not part of the Patreon, keep your eyes open tomorrow. We'll post it tomorrow for everywhere else. But right now, we post it before the show tonight. I mean, the, games uh, as early as May twentieth next month. Yeah, one month away, the season starts. Um, you know, they they host the Dream on May twentieth at seven p.m. Okay. Yeah. Stars just scored again. They're up five to two. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. But yeah, no, we're we're doing uh, WMA this year, WMA Fantasy League, hundred bucks to the winner of the league. I hope everybody's a part of it. You know, we're just trying to have fun, right? Well, we're trying everyone to... can't be a part of it. Well, I hope ten, ten people are, and I or, hope people or who eight other. I hope that people seven. who want to jump in and be a part of it, you know, definitely are active in the community, and um, you know, not only that, but talking shit. Everybody loves the the, the message board and things like that. Maybe we'll start a, you know, what we'll do is maybe get everybody's cell phone number together. We'll we'll join a text group together. Sounds great. Have fun and just just raise hell. I mean, it's all about the community, right? It's all about us. It's all about strikeout beer, and then we're doing something to to promote WNBA. There's, a, I mean, we're, we're doing a, a a goddamn WNBA fantasy league. Come yeah. on, you know, we're trying to do what we can. To, really, to Joe, I know of, nothing about basketball. Well, put the ball in the hole. It's called life. Yeah. What are you trying to do? Just put it in the hole. At the end of the day, whether you're playing basketball or playing anything, you just want to put the ball in the hole. Yeah, I'm telling you. So, appreciate everybody who's been a part of the Patreon for real. Patreon.com uh, uh, slash strikeout beer. A lot of aftermarket content, you know, behind the scenes action, extra beer reviews, extra analysis as far as. Uh, Paul in the hole is life. Oh, yes. boy. Put, just put it. You should go home. You know, too good for your home? Answer me. So, anyways. Let's drink the last one. You got it, bud. This one's blueberry. Uh, the mango that we just had was pretty damn good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Oof, man, these are high ABVs. What are we? What are we rocking on this one? Six point five. Okay. So I feel like we start with the high. Uh, honestly, yeah, we've we had four. Yeah. We started high and went low. Yeah. 6.5 is the lowest one. Uh, this is blueberry. I love the look of it, the color. Looks blueberry-ish. Yeah. Not bad. Mm. These tea, beer, tea beers are starting to warm up on me. The, yeah. the first one, though, the, uh, the black cherry uh, bourbon barrel. Not not much of a fan. I really, it was one that was going to put me over the edge where I was going to chug all the other ones just to get out of it. But then I, everyone I passed it out that. there, but you didn't do it. Yeah, yeah. Past that, though, the mango, the peach, and the blueberry have now been phenomenal. And you can hear in our voices that we're definitely enjoying them. 
Like they're they're fun. What do we got over there, real quick? Let's let's hit some stuff before we go. Um, we got fifteen minutes. Okay, hold on. Um, we're talking WNBA. We just talked WNBA, right? I want to keep the WNBA talk. On. Okay, okay, okay. Brittany Griner is going to write a book. Did a you know? She, did you know she could write? Um, or she just laid back in the chair, just mumbling shit, and then a person well, she went, interprets she went to it. College. How long did Brittany Griner go to college? Uh, three years, four. I think you had to go four years with WNBA. But so she went to college, all that. So she's writing a memoir about her when she fucked up in Russia. Yeah, yeah, and that sucks. just everything she went through. And I want to throw this out there. Okay, I'm going to throw this out there. Let's throw it out there now. Which we we Is still have she, to. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Well, let me throw this out. There. Right. We still have to settle up with the. Uh, Game picking the games, and you lost picking games. Okay, and we have still have to settle up with the uh, podcast on the TV show. Yeah, you know I'm not doing that, so it's not. You, you it. have to do it. I don't have to do anything. You know I'm not doing it, right? Like I'm not doing it. Why? I barely have time to do the shit that I need to do, and the, that's uh. Wait, you're right, <sighs> Baylor for four years. Yeah, Baylor, no shit. I had no idea. What draft pick so, do you think so, she was? Top ten. God, I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it so hard. The only female WNBA player or player surpassed Griner's height of six foot nine has been the late Margot Dedrick. She died of Poland. Damn. Oh, I was thinking Margot Robbie. That's Harley Quinn. It's Harley Quinn. She's not dead. Oh man, she's very she, much alive. And she's well. beautiful. And she's fine. fine. Yeah. Uh, I cantaloupe. I'm already married. Oh God. Is that, is Billy, that Billy Joe? Joe? Yeah, God, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you? Why do you have to ask? But. I don't even know. I don't even know. I was going to look it you, up. Anyway. You have to settle up on the spit. Ah, cool. You have to do a podcast on a TV show. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do that. I'll get right on that. Right after the other four that I do. Yeah, yeah no problem. Mm-hmm. I will. I will. I'll do it. You can trust these eyes. I don't trust you at all. Well, no one does. I mean, Jesus Christ, it's the reason I'm married like to Lizzie now. <laughs> Lizzie's a saint, yeah. and you're an asshole. Well, no, I'm but, a saint now. I've been reborn. All the stuff not, I've done the last three reborn. years. But you, you need. We need to settle up. And you need to do the podcast on yeah. the on the show. I told you, fine. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. I got you. I got you. And I'm thinking like bet payoff. Yeah. For next year, for the Pick'em League, is you have to read the book. And do a uh, thirty minute review on the book. Hell, I could do that for instead of doing the other podcast. The other one, I can just get nope, to deal with too no, much time. You have to do the other one. Um, Those are two separate bets. Well, then, no, I'm out. How about that? I'll just say, no, I'm out on the future bet. It's going to be awesome. Mm-hmm. <sighs> that ain't bad. Uh, What'd you say the ABB a- B- was? 6.5. So we're going down. Yeah, right. Yeah, we're going down. Because they were high. It was started at 9. I think we were like through the 7s and 8s. Uh, 7.8 for the mango and 8% through the peach. Yeah, we're going down. It's I think uh, it's appropriate, though. One of them was nine, I thought. Yeah, the first one. Blackberry uh, or Black Cherry uh, Bourbon uh, Barrel. Yeah, yeah, that was nine. And then we went down. We had peach we went next. To mango next. Peach. 7.5. Peach. Eight. And blueberry six point five. Mm-hmm. Um, man. So I was. It was a little rough to start with. I was like, I'm done with these. I'm not drinking these. It, and then they just you got were better. Not a, you were not a fan of black cherry bourbon. Barrel. Not at all. Not at all. It tastes like wine. I don't yeah, know why. Yeah. It just tastes no, like no, wine. No, I was no, like, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. But the the other ones picked up ground. Now this is a uh, twelve pack, multi pack from uh, from Wild Ohio. Yep. Um, you know, we got the box or whatever. You can get it at Total Wine and More and things like that or any place else you get your um, your booze from. But yep, I'm telling you, the, the other three have been phenomenal. Phenomenal. Yeah. They really have. They are a little bit higher on the ABV. I know. feel like the peach was good. I think the mango was really good. Jesus. Uh, the blueberries, all right. It's going down okay. Mm. It gives you a, a just a fruity take, right? It gives you a fruity take on. I think this would be a summer summer drink, right? Hanging out by the pool, but it's 
The problem is it's a higher ABV. So it's going to get you in trouble. It's only Out in that six, sun? This one's 6.5. It's not a higher ABV. If you go through the whole pack, though, you got some problems. Yeah. I mean, you're slurring after just, it's, you know, a couple each. But well, we had some pregame beers. But in the heat. And, and uh, we, have, we have pregame beers. And the higher alcohol beers, you gave me double what you had. Well, you complained about me not giving you enough. So I, I, I gave never you. never complained. I gave you extra. You gave me double what you and, had. Uh, but yeah, I thought you'd enjoy it. You, you don't I like beer? You don't like, you don't like beer? Like, I don't understand what's going on here. Uh, is there anything we had to hit before? We got 15 minutes before we got to go. No, everything else we can talk about late at night. Hot, you don't want to talk about the hot dog? Sure. You want to talk about the hot dog fight right now? That's, oh, that's, that's after all. That's late now. Oh, I even put it on the chat. Let's do, let's do a hot dog fight. Melton, what's going on, fellas? What's up, Need extra money for college? ISL Education Lending Scholarship Program provides $1,000 for college expenses. Registration is easy and no essay is required. Visit www.iowastudentloan.org slash register to learn more. The scholarship is open to Iowa residents who are in high school and college students, as well as parents of those students. Register by November 30th for your chance at one of the 45 awards at www.iowastudentloan.org slash register. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Jumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby, mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa, take it easy, Judy. The Chumba life is for everybody. So go to Chumbacasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Um, favorite podcast. Thank you, Melton, for acknowledging that. What's up, buddy? Cheers to you, bud. Let's do it real quick. Let's talk about hot dog fight. It's on the title. Hot dog fights is the very first thing. And and also, let's let's rip into uh, Saquon real quick. So, all right, listen. How does everybody handle dollar hot dog night? Right? I don't know if all the stadiums do it. Some of them do. Some of them don't. But here in the ballpark in Arlington, well, now it's called the Globe Life Field. Go- Globe Life Park. How do you handle, where are you going? I'm asking you a question. I. How do you handle Dollar Hot Dog Night? Like a champion. I, I have. Tell me the whole process of you buying a hot dog for a dollar. I, I've never bought one hot dog for a dollar. Give me four to five, maybe six. And I take the dogs and I disperse them amongst my group. And uh, my group grabs whatever, and then I have grab to, wieners. Just you know, hey, and may, maybe I I grab six dogs, mm-hmm. and you didn't grab any, so I split up three and three. That sounds right? ridiculous. Everybody but, that's but, at but hot maybe, dog, uh, dollar hot but dog, but maybe night. I go grab six dogs, and you're like, well, I got five. Okay, yeah. Um, so you have your dogs, I have my dogs. So let me let me tell you, we folks. got some pocket dogs. So let me tell you, folks. So, Dollar Hot Dog Night. Everybody was talking about this the other night for the Philly fans, right? And Philly fans are effing just... They're absurd. They they are the most absurd fan base there is. Listen, we've been to Dollar Hot Dog Night. They, there's no lines. Or, you know, They come to you. And they're sitting out there like, hey, come get the dogs, you know, blah, blah, blah. And so, Alan and I, I think we were there with Javi, if I'm not mistaken. Javi, if you're listening right now, my God, I love you. I miss you. Uh, I'd love to see you. Let's, let's have a drink sometime. And so me, Hav, and Alan go out to a game together because I think Nicholas couldn't make it. Dollar hot dog night. So we're like, hey, give me 10 hot. I think it was like 10 or <laughs> was it? I think it was five or $10. T- five or 10 at a time. So we're going up there, all three of us. And so we just start stuffing. This is cargo pants, people. That's right. Back in the day when people had cargo pants on or cargo shorts, I mean. And so we're like stuffing them in our shorts. We were going to have a hot dog eating context contest right there on the floor right there in the temple oh, i miss i miss i miss the old rangers ballpark i miss it more than anything right now i really do and so we're out there having fun just i mean just eating hot dogs like idiots right they, it's rolled so tight that the the buns and everything that was a loud thud i'm pretty sure alan just fell on my tub that guy's broken more plumbing equipment in this house than anybody else I'm waiting for him to come. We're just going to wait. We're going to wait now at this point. I hear him in there fiddling around. It was the loudest thud. You would have thought a truck just ran into that room. 
We're waiting. We're waiting. We're waiting at this point. We have we have to wait. Billy Joe, I don't think that's on. Come on, dummy. I know you fucked up in there. Yeah, he he fucked up. He fell over. He fell over into my bathtub. Let's wait. Let's wait a couple seconds. What's up, bud? Did you fall into the wall? Uh, no. Did you fall into the tub? Yep. You can't just sit there and piss. You fall into tubs. Oh, I was after. It's after I was done pissing. Oh, I'll yeah. fix it. So my my thing is, we've been part of Dollar Hot Dog Night multiple times, right? I, the last time we went to Dollar Hot Dog Night was 2012. Was that long ago? Uh, I, I said my first, buddy the, Hot was there, right? Hot, yeah, yeah, uh, no, Hot no, was Hot there. Was, Hot there. was there. It yeah. was uh, so me, you, and uh, Cuddles. We bought tickets. Uh, I think we got twelve game season tickets. Yeah, like twelve or twenty. It's, yeah, it's one of the two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did the passes. Uh, we went to two games a, a month. Is yeah. what we went to. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was a game that Cuddles. It was me, you, and Cuddles. Cuddles didn't go, and um, it was me, you, and Hob joined us. Mm-hmm. And we bought dogs. We all bought our own dogs. And did we do five or ten each? I want to say we start somewhere between five to start with. Okay. So you had your dogs and you had your pocket dogs. Yeah, yeah pocket dogs, right? You're right, right. And uh, did we bump it up? I, I feel like we escalated a little bit. We probably ate somewhere between twelve to fifteen dogs each. Okay, okay. I know, I knew it was there, um, right? Um, and I don't, I don't know who won. No, like, no one was a winner that night. We all had no, a good no, time. No, someone won. Yeah, but, but we, all, we I, had. We don't everybody, remember. Everybody was there having a good time. Eleven years ago. So you're right? talking about forty five dogs between us. But that's the thing, right? We could go out there, have a good time, have some beers, uh, enjoy ourselves, and have dollar hot dog night. Well, the Phillies. Uh, there's video out there on Twitter. Go check it out. It's a line that's probably like forty five to like seventy five people long, right? Waiting in line for dollar hot dog night. One, who the hell waits for hot? They're everywhere. You can't throw a damn, you couldn't throw a, uh, you couldn't spit in any direction and not hit somebody that had dollar hot dog night, right? They're sitting there at Texas Stadium ready to get people away, just give, uh, to give those dogs away. And then on top of it, so I'm there to, we're, we're there to eat hot dogs, see who can eat the most, have hot fun dogs, or whatever. Hot dogs, drink beer, have yeah. fun. Well, these idiots up in Philly, these, these effing Philly people are so stupid they're so dumb they start launching hot dogs because they're getting they're getting like run rolled essentially you know they're down by like 10 runs so what do they do go check this i'm not shitting you go check this video out right now on twitter go on twitter and check this shit out they start launching dogs at one another because they're so fucking stupid you know what they want to talk about like the inbred like south how about the inbred north like that seems to be the dumbest base on earth i gotta get philly i gotta get philly perkin here to weigh in on this because he's the only guy I trust. I don't trust anybody else from up there, but I trust Philly. So maybe we'll talk out. We'll we'll reach out to Philly and get that information about that. But yeah, these stupid mfers chunking hot dogs at one another. How stupid can you be? But it's also the same place. You have to grease up the poles. Ask him not to throw batteries to Santa Claus and other shit. Yeah. Um. One more thing before we go. Let's flip to, to Saquon Barker real quick. Super. Well, oh. I, I want to stick with baseball. Okay. Let's talk about the Baltimore Oreos. Oreos. The Baltimore Oreos right. and their celebrations. So they have two. One is the sprinkler. Mm-hmm. Wait, where, where are you going? You're going to talk and I'm going to talk. Well, I want your opinion on it. Okay. okay, so the Baltimore Oreos, they have two celebrations. They have the Homer Hose slash the... Uh, it's not, uh, um, what, what was it called? Hold on. Give me the Baltimore Oreos. A ding dong hose. Um, and the sprinkler. So they have two things. The sprinkler is you, you got the guy that goes out there and he gets a hit and he's doing the sprinkler. And all the guys are in the dugout, and they're split, spitting water out. But then you have the uh, ding-dong hose or the homer hose where they essentially do a beer bong, but they do it with water. That's what they do it with. So they do uh, – so the Baltimore Oreos, yeah, they, they have the ding-dong hose or the homer hose 
where they do a beer bong yeah, no. with water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then they have the sprinkler. For a double? The guy gets on, he does the sprinkler, mm-hmm. and everyone in the dugout spitting water out. Yeah. So Baltimore's they're 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 having fun. I just want to have more fun at games, and I'm glad that other clubs want to do that as well. Now they are kind of they're lower down in the right now the rankings and things like that, but at least they're having fun. And then on top of that too, it's 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 more of a um, it, it's so early in the season, right? Yeah, it's not that the Orioles really, are going to come back and do anything we're three, crazy. Three four weeks into the season, right? But oh, yeah. th- th- does this not like? So you think more about like, like more like two weeks? Yeah, two weeks. I said, in the season. I said two, three weeks. I said three or four. Okay, yeah. but so but this is does this not rem- remind you as a Rangers fan, Claude Horn, uh, Paul Horn, um, and, and all that that they're having fun, and, and like here's what I love, like KG, Kyle Gibson, uh, a former Texas Rangers pitcher. Who was instrumental with the hat with the Rangers and all that uh, when he was with the Rangers and things like that? And he's the one who's like, he's the one that people are reaching out to about the uh, ding dong slash Homer, yeah, uh, Homer hose. And he's like, oh yeah, no, they, they first called it the ding dong. He's like, eh, well, no, or ding bong. Sorry, Dean oh, Ball. Nice. Okay. He's like, eh, it's it's the Homer hose. I like that. But it's it's just them chugging in a bottle of water in a beer ball. <sighs> oh, another that's nah, old. But yeah, I, I'm in for having fun, right? Listen, it's the end of the season. I, I can't be more excited about listen, it's baseball. We're, we're back on baseball, right? We're actually talking baseball. We're baseball guys. We're talking that games are thirty minutes shorter, so they're extending how long they give out beer. They're they stopped it. From like from in four stadiums, they were doing beer till like the seventh inning. And now uh, they're doing it through the, the eighth. Sta- inning. Oh well, all the stadiums do through the seventh, mm-hmm. and there's four stadiums to do through the eighth now. Yep. And uh, read me, those names real quick. You got them? Uh, I don't. I don't. I, I don't uh, Brewers, Rangers. I'm going to give you the rest though. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you the rest because I but feel like you need to know. I I'm actually surprised it's through the eighth. D backs. Rangers, Twins, Brewers. Okay. They extend it through the eighth because the games are so much quicker now, which but, is awesome, right? Since like 1984, they haven't been this quick. It's 31 minutes down, man. But my are you thing excited? is like if the, if the games are shorter, mm-hmm. I would feel like I almost feel like they would do beer sales to the sixth inning now, like shorten it up because the whole thing with behind the beer sales and, and all that is. They want player. They want not players, fans, fans mm-hmm. to not be as drunk when they're leaving, right? So, if games are shorter now, I would almost feel like they would do. Well, oh yeah, we did the seventh inning, but now the games are a lot shorter, so we'll do it with the sixth inning. Think of it like this: like time. Just, just think of time yeah. as far as like how long it takes to get from this inning to this inning, things like that. And before, you know what I mean? Like if it took this long to get to the eighth or the seventh inning before, but now it's taking you this much time to get to the eighth inning, then it's the same. It's the same. It's it, no big Well, deal. no, it's less because games are 31 minutes shorter this that's what, year. That's what I'm saying. Versus previous years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it, again, you don't want your players to be drunk. You, the players, you don't want your fans to be drunk when they're leaving and things like that. You want to have them. Well, it's less time to drink, you know, because the games are shorter. Right. So, again. So, you want so, to shorten up even more. Well, I So, I you want to shorten up to like I, an hour and like 45 minutes where they can allowably have beer on the premises. If you're doing, okay, most games are somewhere around two hours and 30 minutes. Yes. So, if you're doing an hour and 45, I feel like that's like sixth inning. So area. you want it shortened up? Well, no, it's not. It's so, not. I, so, I don't want it. It sounds but, like you but do. What I think That's what you're is, saying right now. What I think is, games are shorter. Okay. So, either you leave it where it is at seventh inning. Do you want anybody telling you when and when you can't have a beer? I mean, do you want someone coming in and telling you when you can't and can't have a beer? And not let's put the caveat in there that it costs eleven or twelve, fifteen dollars for a fucking beer. So, 
what do you want? You just want them to just like, you know what? We're done in the sixth inning. Sixth inning. Okay. Three quarters to a fucking ball game. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. But, I'm, but, no. But, but. Uh, two thirds to a ball game. I, mean, I didn't mean to say quarters. I'm sorry about that. That's a uh, massive mistake. Okay, so so let me throw this out there. Okay, right now you could you could say the seventh inning, right? That's that's what the rule's been, right? Through the seventh inning. In some ballparks, yeah. All ballparks. All right. Show sh- tell me a ballpark that was later in the seventh inning before the season. <sighs> Through the seventh inning. Right. Okay. Through before the season. Yep. None. Right. Oh, I have no idea. I didn't look that shit up. You, you can look they're, that up if you they're, want. They're not there. Okay. But I'm telling you right now, the seventh inning through the end of the game would be, if you wanted to measure out the time, would be the equivalent of this year doing the fifth inning to the end of the game. Hold on. Did you do this equation or did you do it in your head just now? Just Science. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, your your math is. Tell completely... me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. Well, no, I, I maybe I'll look it up tomorrow. Maybe I'll do the equation tomorrow in Excel. You're shaving, but you at have least no thirty one minutes off a yeah. game. It's two and a half hours long. Most games right now, right? Yeah, you've had some games that are the, the shortest game this year is two hours and eight minutes. Okay, out of normally two forty five. Most, three most hours? games, mo- a majority. Because you talk out of your ass a lot, and I feel like no, you're talking no, out of no, your no, ass I'm now. Not. Like you're majority, just you're you're over rounding, I think is what it is. Majority of games are between two hours and two and a half hours. So what did you say? Where would you want to cut off sales? If you want to do the equivalent, or, yeah, right, yeah, 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 yeah you got to yeah. come off the sixth or the fifth inning. So the sixth or the fifth inning is essentially half the game. The fifth inning. Because the half the game, so yeah, no, that's not, yeah, you're you're way off, dude. <laughs> like, I'm not. Yeah, you are. It's no big deal. I mean, what's the big deal if you're wrong? Because you've been but, wrong a billion times on the show before. Uh, here's it's nothing thing. new, right? When you so, were like, so there were like, no hey, laptops back in 1998. So here's the thing. <laughs> you you want like hell? We're gonna cock it. We're gonna. Cut you're gonna cock. You're gonna cock the shit out of we're gonna, it. You're going to the airport we're, after we're this? Gonna cut, nope. We're gonna <laughs> cut cut games off in the eighth inning. Why? Games are shorter. What's the so, big deal? So you should cut them off before then. So since games are shorter, you want to keep it the way the old way is, right? That's what you're aiming for, to keep no, it the way it no, was. No, I'm just. You're you're trying to keep it the way it was, and you're like, you know what? No matter what, we got to. I bet you don't like to buy beer before noon on Sunday, too. Like, you're just like, God damn it. I wish, I wish we didn't even sell beer on Sunday. Like, this I'll, is the I'll go thing buy beer, the, what, was it 11 o'clock now? I mean, hell, if you can find some place that's going to be open. But, yeah, it's, it, it used to be noon. But now it's like, hell, if you can find someone that's abiding by the I law. I think it's 11 now. Well, it should be 10. It shouldn't even be Is anything. It 10? Okay. It shouldn't be anything because who gives a shit? Like, so, seriously. Here in Texas, they do. Yeah, that Bible Belt stuff can just fucking leave whenever, you know. Jesus. Not, no one gives a fuck. But things are different. Yeah. Uh, Real quick before we go. We're going to flip over. Maybe we'll come back to this. Maybe we won't. We probably won't because your math's off. But Saquon Barkley not signing. He's like, I'm not showing up for any volunteer OTAs or anything like that. Doesn't want to sign that that franchise tag. Franchise tag, yeah. What yeah, do you yeah. think about that? You pay you you paid this guy right. Like you paid Danny Dimes. I, I you drafted this guy hold, and wore him hold, out, hold, hurt him let, twice. Let me throw this out there. You should have paid. Saquon before you pay Danny Dimes. There's no question. There's no question. And here's the other thing. I'm looking at, and I posted some things in our Discord and things like that, and you have the top receivers, the top quarterbacks in the NFC. And you have some things out there where they're like, why are you holding on to that microphone? It's not a glory hole, man. Just just let it sit there oh, for a second. Just let it. It'll it'll capture you, your voice. You, you have them you out double there. Double fisting it. You have them out there where they're like, "Oh no, Daniel Jones is better than Jared Goff." Ah, uh, I mean, there's He's arguments not. out there. There's arguments out okay. there. Okay, yeah. Um, but I'm talking about Saquon. I'm not talking about Jared Goff uh, or or Derek Carr or, or no. That's it's know. the same conversation. Who the hell's the other guy? That's the same conversation. Daniel Jones. Nah. Do you think uh, – no, dude, no, no, no. I mean, I, I would almost throw – let's throw Saquon in with CMC and 
I don't know who else. Who else is comparable to CMC? I, I in, in your I, mind, who else is comparable to CMC? Nobody. Is he on his own island? Yes. Like CMC used to be? Like he is right now. Well, so they're on different islands, not the same. The, there is, I just asked. There is no world where I rate Saquon the same that I do with CMC. Who's first? Who's your number one running back in the league right now? <laughs> A little sneak peek for everybody on the Patreon. Patreon.com slash strikeout bear. Probably Saquon, or not Saquon. Number one CMC. overall. Probably CMC. PPR, so CMC. And he's on a, you know. I, w- I would put, right in this situation, we're talking CMC, and we're talking Saquon. You talking 1A, 1B? No. So 1 and 2. I am putting CMC ahead of Saquon. Okay. Because, let's just be honest. Well, that's fine. Saquon has done way more in his role than... How many uh, touchdown passes does Saquon have? Not, not as much as CMC. Zero. Yeah, not as much. Zero. No, he doesn't have zero. No, he does. He doesn't have zero. In his career? Yeah. No. In the NFL? No. He's caught a pass and ran into the end zone No, before. no, 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 no. Touchdown passes where he throws them. Oh, where he throws them. Oh, you're right, talking right, that, right, that, right, that right, bit? Right, right, oh, yeah. God. No, that bit? Derek, Derek Henry has that fucking that, that, but, that charge. But here's the thing. Like, you're, I, was you're, asking, you're, I was asking who's about. Uh, so right now, me and you, we're sitting here. There's, there's a couple people in here. Who's the best running back in the league? And I'm talking all factors. Throw, receive, run it. I will take, if you're talking CMC yeah. versus Saquon. No, no, no. I'm talking best in the league. Okay. Who's the best uh, running back in the league right now? Say, uh, One, CMC. 101. CMC. So CMC's 101. Where's Saquon fall? Top seven. Seven. So you have him in seventh. Okay. I have him in my top so, seven. So, like. No, no. You have him in seven because you said seven. So that means he falls in the seven. My question to you is, if you're the New York Giants, Say you're the New York Giants, so you have some type of influence on them because you're like a GM or something like that. Do you try to franchise tag Saquon or you just pay this guy his money? Because if you don't, I I think you... Who's out there? I, I think you pay him the money. You pay but, him what anybody but, goes but, for. But right? like, 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 top five so, so like they paid Daniel Jones. Yeah, of course. And, and again... I'm a Daniel Jones fan. Yeah, big time. I not big Celebrate time. Not, guy. not big time. Celebrate not, no, the guy's no, no, entire no, no, catalog. No, 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 no. I know you. Because at the same time, Daniel yeah. Jones came out in the draft, and Josh Allen, Josh Allen over Daniel Jones. Uh, yeah, I would say so at this point. And that's not. It's not like I think it's pretty close. World, at this world point. break. It, it, no, it's it, not. Well, it's starting. It's, to, not, it's starting not, to kind of go like this because Josh Allen can't get can't get in the the Super Bowl. He can't get out of the. He can't get in the AFC Championship. You know what I mean? He, he's the got, AFC is he, run differently than the NFC. Yeah, well, the NFC is completely more, weak. He's got a lot more competition and the AFC and is like that. But stacked. Let me, let me there's called say, there's called a, a cakewalk, right and there's a uh, you know we can get I, there. <sighs> AFC is different. Don't compare him to him. I'm talking NFC. Here's here's my thought. I'll slow up. We got a couple minutes. Give give. Uh, Molson, what's up? What's up, Molson? Um, what's going on? I'm I'm grilling you know, Allen over here. He can't even think right now. He's so. Uh, let's let, let you know. Oh, what? that's it. Ten Bay one. They're twelve and zero. Yeah. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Tampa Bay is better than Boston. Yep. Yeah. But let's let, let's talk this more in in after dark. But I need I need your thoughts right now. I said Saquon's not signing the 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 tag. He doesn't want to sign. He's not going to show up to, to OTA. So, like, do you pay this guy or not? He's one of the best running backs in the league. Uh, again, I think you work on, if you're the Giants, mm-hmm. you work on focusing on paying Saquon. And then Daniel Jones is second. Well, but, they already but, paid but they, but they didn't. Yeah, they already they didn't do, do that. Yeah, they already but did. I think you could have gotten Saquon, not Saquon, Daniel Jones cheaper. And then paid Saquon. Um, nothing? Nothing. We mean nothing. I'm giving you information. I, 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 
We're giving you all types of information. Not great. Not great. You you're great doing great you're doing you're not great right now. I am crushing it. But I I I think at the end of the day, if like you're the Giants, I think Saquon is more valuable than Daniel Jones. Mm-hmm. But you're talking running backs and it's just running backs are easier to pick up or to start or to the draft. Mm-hmm. And they have a shelf life, right? Right. All right, let's get and, the hell out of there. I don't, I don't know. Look. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. We're going to raid uh, Beard we're, Good we're, on Twitch. We're raiding Beard Good on Twitch. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We appreciate you guys. Mm-hmm. We're going to uh, end the show. We're going to do a little uh, Patreon bitch show chug. Maybe. No, we're doing it. We always do it every week. Don't tell me maybe. You're going to phone me. Probably I'll fix Get that. us out of here. I'll fix that. But, hey. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We appreciate you guys. We love you guys. As always, I'm Alan. Rabbit Dave. Talk to you guys later. This is... Thanks for listening to Strikeout Beer. With Lucky Land slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to... Has anyone seen the bride and groom? Sorry, sorry, we're here. We were getting lucky in the limo and we lost track of time. (gasps) No, Lucky Land Casino, with cash prizes that add up quicker than a guest registry. In that case, I pronounce you lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Daily bonuses are waiting. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details.